What's up guys, this is Mandala on Mandala Loves Jesus and today I want to talk about the topic Why don't they love God? And I wrote an epistle for the church on this topic which I want to read to you. About Jesus Christ, John 1.4 In him was life, and the life was the light of man, and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. And in verse 11, He came unto His own, and His own received Him not. John three nineteen to 21 And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. People do not love God simply because they prefer evil. They do not walk in the Spirit because they love the world, their flesh and material things. They are selfish and want to do whatever their flesh desires. Do what thou wilt, whispers Satan into the ears of the tempted, and those that agree with and receive his message become his children. The children of Satan, the liar, are also liars themselves, but the children of truth are truthful. Children of the devil do not want to listen, that they do not want to serve. They worship themselves and therefore serve themselves. They have an inability for true satisfaction, like a black hole. They are like a corpse that cannot taste the wine of God's kingdom, all because they choose death over life. They seek to oppress rather than to serve. They seek to control rather than to liberate. They like to rule in selfish arrogant pride over the weak and do not care about either widows or orphans. Let us eat and drink and follow our flesh for we do not know of life beyond this body, so they say, and therefore heap up more and more of God's wrath up, up in their heads. Why don't they love God? Because they love the world. 1 John 2, 15, 17 Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. Why do they hate God? because they want God to do what they want. They cling to the flesh, their prayers are of the flesh, and they pray for the flesh, because their spirits are lacking true life. They are like this, because they are from below, but God is on high. They curse God when He does not do what they ask. They get angry with God because He does not heed their lustful desires. They war against God because they seek destruction rather than peace. They do not share, they do not care, they are unmerciful, bitter is their drink. One that lives with the child of the devil will suffer from their wickedness without rest. They hate God because they do not know Him, yet they are too afraid to invite Him. Their clenched hands show they are filled with hate, their knuckles are white with rage because they would love to destroy the living one. But of course, they are powerless before the true God. They cannot even touch Him. Satan thought it was a brilliant idea to attack Jesus, the Christ. But the blameless Son of God could not be held by death, 
and gloriously rose from the grave. Satan fell into both. He fell into both debt and judgment when he laid his hands upon Jesus, and his destruction and of his angels is already sealed by the judgment of the Father. The wrath against those that despised his unblemished Son will fall, fall upon anyone who does not take on his righteousness through the cross. Why do they not love God? Simply because there is no real love within them, neither do they even want to invite divine love into their hearts, because their only love is for darkness. The devil blames God for the problems of mankind, and men believe him and take his invitation. Why? Because men are filled with pride and would rather blame anyone else rather than repent of their own selfishness. Men will always look for a scapegoat. In their distorted minds they make God the scapegoat of their worldly anger. But do not heed them. Do not listen to them. Do not let, let their hatred enter your heart. Let not their lying thoughts enter your mind. Stay alert, watch and pray. For the Lord Jesus Christ's return is just around the corner, coming with his troops to resolve the plan, plan of salvation by his might and great power. Watch and pray, little sheep. Do not worship the wolves. For they will laugh at you and then devour you when they are bored of the lustful entertainment in you. Again, why do they not love God? Because they already worship their evil master, the devil. Not only do they commit abominations to the Lord, but they also cultivate them, especially in others. They love to hate. They love to destroy. They love to bring chaos and rebellion. They love to bring false order, to put people into cages of control. The snake lays its eggs in their hearts and they start to believe that they can overcome God. Yes, they even believe that they can make war and win against him. These people that are determined for perdition have believed the same lie as the fallen angels did before their fall. Those angels thought they could fight and win, and they did fight, but of course they lost. They lost. Revelation 12, 7, 9 And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Why do they not love God? Because they do not respect righteousness and the sovereign God who executes it. They do not love the truth. They do not love justice. They are greedy and hungry for power. They are slaves to their, their corrupted blood. The corruption keeps growing as, as they incubate and cultivate their sins. Sin is at the door desiring to consume them. The unclean spirits lend to them until their hourglass has run out of sand. Genesis 4, 7 If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Why do they not love God? because they want to be more, and they want to have more. Why is the dragon enraged with man? Because God shares his glory with man through the true Son of Man, the Lord Jesus Christ. The dragon stood up and was cast out of the glorious place. Now he is in great rage against the seed of, seed of the woman. Genesis 3.15 God says to the serpent, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, 
and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. They do not love God because they are backstabbers, backbiters and false friends. Betrayal is their creed as they have sold out to temporary gain, yet only to reap eternal condemnation which they falsely think they can escape. Destruction follows where they walk, where they sleep a fire breaks out, where they speak conflict arises, where they look a curse is placed, and where they sit unrest prevails. Their evil hearts are poisoned and blinded by the desires of their flesh, and as they sow unto the flesh they reap destruction according to the bet they placed. Galatians says, Galatians 6, 7, 8 Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Now finally, why do they not love God? Because they do not reference or even acknowledge their Creator, neither do they wish to do so. They do not want to obey and use every way they can to craftily get what they want, breaking all the rules of righteousness in the process. Their ways are illegal in the sight of the Lord. Indeed, their disobedience kindles the fire of the wrath of the God for the wicked. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, 13-14 Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Now think, child, as long as patience lasts. Turn around and make peace with the Creator. Strive to enter into the castle of the King before the door shuts forever. Consider, don't be stubborn. And don't be a fool, choose wisely the kingdom that will eternally stand, of which the cornerstone upholds and sustains the castle walls. It's all in Christ alone. It is all about Him, and always will be, for He is the fullness of the One that came into the flesh of man, Jesus, the Savior, the Word, and our helping hand. Amen.